Okay, this is just going to be a very quick run through of Next Beast version 1.0.1. The biggest change here is the inclusion of ADW Launcher. Uh, it's kind of a mix between you know, the default launcher and Helix launcher. Incorporates some of the best features of both. It's got this Android 2.2 type uh, shortcut bar down here with two programmable, user programmable shortcuts. Uh, you just drag the shortcut over it and you'll be able to program it there. It also has this nice little dockable bar down here with up to six more user programmable icons. And uh, let me show you again how you get to it. Just hold this down, pull it up. And if you want to get rid of it, just swipe down. And let me show you how you can program it. So just hold on to something to get rid of it. Confirm delete. And let me add that settings shortcut right back. So I take settings, hold on to it, pull it down here, it will light up white. And there it is. Um, as you can see, this app tray is very smooth. And that's why I really like ADW Launcher because it's basically got the best app tray experience out of any launcher I've used. It also incorporates Sense UI type home switching, so at any home screen, you just press the home button and you get this you know, five or up to seven panels uh, where you can just switch them Go right back like this. And here are some settings that I think should be changed from the default. So, uh, let's see. You don't really need to change the screen preferences unless you really want uh, to change the number of screens. I think you should hide, or not hide, disable this orientation sensor because uh, I heard that you can give force closes. Uh, enable live wallpaper support if you want to use live wallpapers. Drawer settings. Uh, I would uncheck the new drawer. It uses a Samsung Galaxy S implementation, uh, which is actually side to side scrolling, but it doesn't seem to be as refined. Uh, get rid of the animation, make sure it's fast drawer, uh, portrait columns I've set to 5, and landscape columns I've set to 6. Uh, and preview settings have all these checked. UI settings, the only thing I changed was um, I checked this closing dock bar setting. So that actually makes it so that when you, let me show you, when you go into this dock bar, uh, if you click on one of these shortcuts it actually closes it so it goes back to regular otherwise it would stay in this six uh, six icon dock bar so that's really up to you too um, otherwise this is really quick and uh, if you don't like this launcher you can actually install either the default launcher helix launcher 1 or helix launcher 2 I have scripts for all those um, so go visit the post uh, it's linked to in the description of the video and uh, yeah it's otherwise uh, very fast very smooth very enjoyable experience so check it out